Coming up is the high school quiz show, quarterfinals with Lexington High School. Need to file a claim? With Safety Insurance, you can use the latest technology or you can call your local independent agent. Either way, Safety Insurance is committed to providing customer service that can help you manage life's storms. Quiz Show. I'm your host, uh, Billy Costa. Today's matchup is the first of our quarterfinal rounds. We are down to the final eight teams, and the competition is getting intense. And today's matchup has Brookline High School taking on Lexington High School on the Brookline team. We have Amir, Lewis, Micah, and Louie with uh, alternates Margot. And Emma and the coaches, Adam Freed and Tyler Uli Brown. Yes! <laughs> For the Lexington team, uh, we've got Steven, Colin, Nick, and Krishna. Uh, the coaches, Carrie Darling and Bill Cole, everybody. <laughs> So here we go. The competition has four rounds. A toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We will start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So if everybody's ready, let's play. What U.S. state is the nation's largest producer of lobsters? Yes, Krishna. Maine. Maine is correct. Who was America's longest serving first lady? Yes, Colin. Eleanor Roosevelt. Yes, the first wedding in space took place in 2003 aboard what structure cruising at an altitude 220 miles above Earth? Yes, Colin. The International Space Station. Yes, the island city of Key West is the southernmost point of what U.S. state? Yes, Nick. Florida. Florida is correct. Uh, take a look at your monitors in front of you. Uh, this artwork is titled Wivenhoe Park, Essex. It was painted in 1816 by what artist who, along with Gainsborough and Turner, was a leading figure in English landscape painting? Yes, Colin. Joshua Reynolds. No, Brookline, you want to try it. Lewis. Copley. No, John Constable, the answer. We move on. In 2016, a congressional investigation found no evidence of wrongdoing by Hillary Clinton in the attacks on a U.S. consulate in 2012 in what Libyan city? Yes, Micah. Benghazi. Yes. On August 15th, 1945, a wood emperor gave a radio address announcing Japan's terms of surrender for ending World War II. Yes, Stephen. Hirohito. Yes. In the opening game of the 2016 season, who played quarterback for the New England Patriots, replacing Tom Brady during his four-game suspension? Yes, Micah. Jimmy Garoppolo. Correct. Only two U.S. presidents signed the Declaration of Independence. John Adams and who else? Yes, Nick. Thomas Jefferson. Yes. Again, take a look at your monitors. Here comes your next question. I'm Anna Rothschild, and this is Gross Science. <laughs> Here's my question. It may sound like a horror movie, but it's actually good medicine. In 2004, the FDA approved the use of what blood-sucking worms to promote blood flow in skin grafts and limb reattachments? Yes, David. Leeches. Leeches is right, and we move on. More than 100 years after it was written, The Tale of Kitty in Boots was published for the first time in 2016. It was written by one author best known for her books about Peter Rabbit. Yes, Krishna. Beatrix Potter. Yes. Ranked by Rolling Stone as the best song of 2015, Can't Feel My Face was a massive hit for what Canadian singer? 
Yes, Krishna. The weekend. Yes. Salt water is an example of which of the following? A, a colloid. B, a solution. C, a suspension. Yes, Amir. B. B, a solution is right. And now a math question. I'm thinking of a number. I subtract three from it, then add seven to the results, and I get 11. What was my original number? Yes, Nick. Seven. Yes, the subject of a recent film, What Virginia Couple, were plaintiffs in the 1967 Supreme Court decision that ended state bans on interracial marriage. Yes, Krishna. The Walkers? No, Brookline, Micah. Love? N no, the Lovings is the answer. In Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter, what is the first name of Hester Prynne's illegitimate daughter? Yes, Krishna. Pearl. Pearl is right. What former Daily Show correspondent was the only female host on late night TV in 2016? Yes, Micah. Samantha B. Right. In the 1970s, conservative activist Phyllis Schlafly uh, helped defeat what proposed amendment to the Constitution? Yes, Krishna. The Equal Rights Amendment. Yes. In biochemistry, words that end in the suffix A-S-E, as in lactase and cellulase, refer to what substances that act as catalysts for the chemical processes in living things? Yes, Stephen. Enzymes. Yes. Which of the following countries suffered the greatest number of casualties during World War II? Was it A, Germany, B, China, or C, the Soviet Union? Yes, Nick. The Soviet Union. Yes. Ten years in the making and over a thousand pages long. Uh, what epic by Watchmen creator Alan Moore was published in 2016? Yes, Lewis. Watchmen. No, you want to try it, uh, Lexington? Jerusalem is the answer. At the Battle of Thermopylae in 480 BC, how many Spartans heroically fought the entirety of Persia's armies for three days? Yes, Nick. 300. 300, of course, dramatized in the film. 300. Which of Newton's laws of motion is also known as the law of inertia? Yes, Krishna. The first. Yes. Uh, what early drummer for the Beatles was replaced by Ringo Starr just days before they released their first single, Love Me Do? Yes, Krishna. Best. Yes, Pete Best. Name for a New York inn that was the site of a historic uprising in 1969. What newly designed national monument honors the struggle for LGBTQ rights? Yes, Colin. Stonewall. Yes. A dry salt lake bed called Lake Eyre is the lowest point of what country? Yes, Nick. Australia. Yes, Latin for cloud. What huge cloud of dust and gas is called the birthplace of stars? Yes, Lewis. Nebula. Yes, First Amendment rights to free speech sometimes clash uh, with defamation laws. Slander is defined as a false spoken statement. What is defined as a false written statement? Yes, Krishna. Libel. Yes. In Norse uh, mythology, uh, what group of maidens who served the god Odin went to every battle to select the most heroic of the slain and carry them off to Valhalla? Yes, Nick. Valkyries. Yes. What independent federal agency was established in 1934 to regulate the U.S. stock market and protect investors? Yes, Colin. The SEC. Yes. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. These lines are from what Emma Lazarus poem found on the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty? Yes, Stephen. The New Colossus. Yes. In a short story called Run Around, what science fiction writer laid out the three laws of robotics that govern robot behavior? Yes, Lewis. Isaac Asimov. Yes. Michelangelo's David, a marble statue of the high renaissance, is found in what Italian city? Yes, Amir? Milan. No, Lexington? Yes, Nick? Florence. Florence is right. In what U.S. state? And there is... The bell ending round one. The score right now, Brookline High School, 60 points. Lexington High School, 240 points. Let's have a nice round of applause, everybody. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we're going to take a little breather. You know what, guys? Everybody just shake their hands. Shake it down. Here we go, a little shake down. Now we're loose, we're ready. And now I have a question each of you will answer in your own way. And here it comes. We'll start with Brookline High School. And Amir, what's the first thing you would want to do on your 100th birthday and why? Amir? Hmm. I, would, I would walk over to Dunkin' Donuts and claim my free medium beverage. <laughs> I, think that, I think that Dunkin' Donuts brings the best of New England together. And I think 
Um, I, I just feel the most, the, the utmost sense of community when I'm there. And uh, Lewis? I would uh, go to the newspaper and read This Day in History and see how much I can remember. Because um, the birthday is an important time to, uh, to reflect on the past. Okay, and Micah? Uh, I would uh, have a cake and uh, I would spend a while blowing out the candles because that, that might take a little <laughs> bit longer. Louis? Well, uh, due to uh, advances in medical science, I think I'll be watching the tape from when I main evented WrestleMania earlier that year. Oh, yeah. And actually, I have to have a disclaimer. I lost the match to The Undertaker because, obviously, Undertaker always wins at WrestleMania. Absolutely. But I think that it'll still be a worthwhile experience. All right. Uh, I'd like to be there for that if you don't mind. Uh, you will be. Okay. Steven, Lexington High. I'd probably just wake up and have a big breakfast. <laughs> Why not? Start the day with a big breakfast. Uh, Colin. I'd turn on the TV and watch what would be the longest running TV show of all time. Season 90 of High School Quiz Show with Billy Costa. <laughs> Hopefully I'm there for that too. Uh, Nick? I don't think I'd celebrate it too much because by the time I turn 100, it'll be pretty normal for people to turn 100, so. Good point. And uh, Krishna? Um, I would use my uh, time travel machine to travel back to right now and play High School Quiz Show again. There you go. Right back on High School Quiz Show. And now, it's a time for the head-to-head -head round, so Brookline, Lexington, all of you, come on down. Okay, we're about to go head-to-head, -head, and I do have a Lexington on my left. I have Brookline High School on my right. If you gentlemen would shake hands, get off to a nice, friendly start. A reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers, incorrect answers, will cost you 10. Yes, you can buzz in at any time, and the clock is now set at 90 seconds. Good luck. Who was the first Roman Catholic president of the United States? JFK. Yes. Uh, what William Gibson play is based on the life of Helen Keller and her determined teacher? Yes. The miracle worker. Yes. Uh, what American icon known as the King of Golf passed away in 2016? Yes. Arnold Palmer. Yes. What African nation is home to the cities of Tangier and Casablanca? Yes. Morocco. Yes. Uh, most of the main characters on the TV show The Big Bang Theory work at what university? Yes. Caltech. Yes. What U.S. president designed the landscape and the gardens at his home in Mount Vernon? Yes. And George Washington. Yes. Uh, Gregor Mendel discovered the fundamental laws of inheritance based on his observations of what plant? Yes. Tea plant. Yes. Uh, by using the Suez Canal, ships avoid having to sail around what continent? Yes. Africa. Yes. By definition, what kind of animals eat both plants and other? Yes. Omnivores. Yes. Uh, what country has the largest Muslim population in the world? Indonesia. Yes. In July 2016, who stepped down as chairman and CEO of Fox News? Yes. Uh, never mind. Roger Ailes. Uh, name the author of the classic short story, Flowers for Algernon. Yes. Faulkner? No, Daniel Keyes. Uh, what Texas city hosts the annual South by Southwest Music Festival? Austin. Yes. What 1919 act named for a Minnesota congressman authorized the enforcement of prohibition? Yes. Volstead Act? Yes. In Greek drama, what group of performers comments on the action? Is, yeah, yeah. Did he make it? Yes, he did. Answer? Chorus. Yes, the chorus is correct. And that ends round two. Let's take a look at the score. Brookline High School right now, 90 points. Lexington High School, 320 points. How about it, folks? Let's go! Next up is the category round with the following categories. Triple threat. The need for speed. Do me a solid. Ballroom blitz. There and back again. And rhyme time. Uh, each category has five questions with increasing point values. Now, players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, we're going to need your answer. You can no longer confer. Now, Brookline, you've got some ground to make up, so you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Do me a solid. Do me a solid. And here we go. Uh, these are questions about solids. Uh, for 10 points, solids that have an organized, regular repeating structure are called which of the following? A, amorphous, B, crystalline, C, colloidal. Yes, Colin. B, crystalline. That is correct. And Lexington, you have the board category. There and back again for 10, please. A uh, new category for the round. All answers are palindromes, meaning they're read the same backward 
as forward. And for 10 points, uh, what object detection system that uses radio waves was secretly developed by several nations in the period before and during World War II? Yes, Krishna. Radar. Radar is right. You still have the board, Lexington. Uh, triple, triple threat, please. Triple threat. New category. Questions about people with three names. And please give all three names in your answer. And for 10 points, name the first U.S. president who was the son of a former president. Yes, Louis. John Quincy Adams. Yes, and now, Brookline, you've got the board. Category? Triple threat. This time for 15 points. What author of The Last of the Mohegans was one of the first major American novelists to include African-American and Native American characters in his work? Yes, Micah. James Fenimore Cooper. That is correct. And you still have the board. Triple threat. Uh, triple threat, this time for 20 points. Uh, what star of Blackish is the first African American to receive an Emmy nomination for lead actress in a comedy since Felicia Rashad in 1986? Tracy Ellis Ross, the answer there. And Brookline, you still have the board. Triple threat. For 25 points, what 19th century Scottish pioneer in physics is best known for his formulation of electromagnetic theory? James Clerk Maxwell, the answer there. And Brookline, you still have the board category. Uh, triple threat. This time, 30 points at stake. Uh, recently portrayed by Meryl Streep in a film of the same name, what wealthy New York philanthropist had all of the desire but none of the talent to be a singer? Yes, Colin. Florence Foster Jenkins. Yes, and now Lexington, you've got the board category. Rhyme time for 10, please. Rhyme time? Okay, new category for the round. Uh, questions about poetry for 10 points. Who wrote The Tales of a Wayside Inn, which includes a poem called Paul Revere's Ride? Yes, Stephen. Longfellow. Yes, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. You still have the board, Lexington. Rhyme time. Rhyme time for 15. Uh, what three words follow Lord Byron's celebrated phrase, she walks in beauty? Like the night is the answer. You still have the board, Lexington. Rhyme time. Rhyme time for 20 points in his sonnet, uh, Ozymandias, who describes a crumbling, ruined statue of a once great king, ironically inscribed, Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Yes, Krishna. Shelley. Shelley is right. You've still got the board, Lexington. Uh, rhyme time, please. For 25 points. Uh, beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Who wrote this in an 1872 nonsense poem titled Jabberwocky? Yes, Nick. Lewis Carroll. Yes, you still have the board, Lexington. Finish it for 30, please. Rhyme time for 30 points. What author of uh, Thomas and Beulah was the first female uh, African-American poet laureate of the United States? Yes, Colin. Gwendolyn Brooks. No, you want to try Brookline? Rita Dove, the answer. Lexington, you have the board. You'll need a category. Need for speed for 10, please. Okay, this is uh, a new category for the round. Um, questions about speed, rate, and distance. For 10 points, how many miles does a car going 60 miles per hour travel in 2.5 hours? Yes, Nick? 150. Yes, you still have the board Lexington category. Ballroom Blitz for 10, please. Oh, Ballroom Blitz, new category. Uh, questions about dance. And for 10 points, the samba is a lively rhythmic dance that originated in what South American country famous for its carnival? Yes, Colin. Brazil. Brazil. Uh, you still have the board Lexington category? Stay with it for 15. Ballroom Blitz for 15 points. What four-letter French word refers to a basic ballet movement in which a dancer bends the knees and straightens them again, usually with the feet turned out and heels firmly on the ground? Yes, Amir. Plie. Plie is right. And Brookline, you have the board category. Need for speed. The need for speed, this time for 15 points. If a truck travels 195 miles in three hours, then what is the average speed of the truck? Yes, Louis. 65 miles an hour. That is correct. Brookline, you've got the board. Need for speed. Uh, this time, 20 points. A motorcycle going 60 miles an hour would need how many hours to travel 420 miles? Yes, Lewis. Seven hours. Seven is right. You've still got the board book line. Need for speed. 25 points. A train travels one mile in one and a half minutes. At this rate, how many miles will the train travel in one hour? 
Yes, Lewis. 40. 40 is right. You've still got the board brook line. Need for speed? For 30 points. A man drove 45 miles per hour for two hours and then 60 miles per hour for another two hours. What was the total distance the man traveled? Yes, Lewis. 210 miles. That is correct. And you've still got the board brook line. You'll need a category. Uh, do me a solid. Do me a solid. Uh, this time for 15 points. Uh, known to the ancients as brimstone, what pale yellow solid is found in volcanoes, meteorites, and hot springs? Yes, Stephen. Sulfur. Sulfur is right. Lexington, you've got the board back. Category. Give me a solid for 20. For 20. Ionic solids consist of positively charged ions called cations and negatively charged ions called what? Yes, Amir. Anions. That is correct. You've got the board Brookline. Category. Do me a solid. Uh, this time for 25 points. Uh, what phase change occurs when a substance changes from a solid directly to a gas? Yes, Amir? Sublimation. That is correct. You've got the board brook line. Do me a solid. For 30 points, what phase change occurs when a gas changes directly to a solid? Yes, Colin. Deposition. That is correct. And now, Lexington, you've got the board. Category? Ballroom blitz for 20, please. For 20 points. Uh, Gertrude Stein's famous quote, affectations can be dangerous, was said upon the death of what dancer killed when her enormous silk scarf got caught on the wheel of her car? Uh, Isidore Duncan, the answer. Lexington, you've still got the board. Barroom Blitz for 25. 25 points. What four-letter word refers to a traditional circle dance uh, often performed at Jewish weddings, usually to the song I Have a Nagila? Yes, Louis? The uh, horror. Yes. And you've got the board, Brookline. Category? Ballroom Blitz. For 30 points, who choreographed some of the most popular Broadway musicals of the 20th century, including West Side Story, Gypsy, and Fiddler on the Roof? Yes, Colin. Bob Fosse. No, Brookline. You want to try it? <laughs> Jerome Robbins. And uh, Brookline, you've got the board. There's only the one category there and back again and this time for 15 points uh what flat round indian bread is traditionally baked in a clay oven called the tandoor yes louis non non is right and now for 20 points invented by the ancient uh, inuit of greenland what type of long narrow boat is pointed at both ends and moved by a paddle with two blades yes colin kayak kayak uh, and now for 25 points. During the Vietnam War, a series of key battles began in 1968 on the first day of what Lunar New Year holiday? Yes, Colin. Ted. That Ted is right. And for 30... Oh, I wanted to get the last question in. Anyway, uh, that ends the category round. The score right now, Brookline High School, 305 points. Lexington High School, 475 points. Nice round. That was a nice round. Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of game play. It is the lightning round. So you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Good luck, teams. Here we go. What force pulls all objects toward the center of the Earth? Yes, Louis. Gravity. Yes. What late night talk show host has a popular recurring segment called Lip Sync Battle? Yes, Colin. Jimmy Fallon. Yes. What country financed Christopher Columbus's historic voyage? Spain. Uh, yes. The U.S. Department of Energy was created under what president? Yes, Nick. Carter. Yes, Jimmy Carter. In uh, Alibaba in the 40 Thieves, the door to a cave is opened with what two-word magical? Yes. Open sesame. Yes. After hydrogen and helium, what is the third element? Yes. Lithium. Yes. Uh, what best-selling Barbara Kingsolver novel follows an American missionary family in the Belgian Congo? The Poisonwood Bible. In the 1600s, pirates called Corsairs controlled what present-day capital of Morocco? Yes, Micah. Rabat. Yes. At the 2016 Rio Olympics, what country won the most medals? Yes, Amir. United States. Yes. More than 1,000 miles long, what man-made waterway in China is the longest canal? Yes. Uh, the Grand Canal? Yes. In taxonomy, what is the scientific term for the group of animals that do not have backbones? Yes, Amir. Invertebrates. Yes. What British author wrote Brighton Rock and Our Man? Yes. Uh, Graham Greene. Oh. Yes. In 2016, what Florida Republican was re-elected to the U.S. Louis? Rubio. Yes. Uh, what religion is practiced by about 95% of the population of Thailand? Yes, Amir. Um, Buddhism. Yes. Uh, Cole Porter's Kiss Me Kate is loosely based on what Shakespeare play? Yes, Colin. Taming of the Shrew. Yeah. What city that is also a country is home to... Oh! 
he made it. Steven, who was it? I didn't, I didn't get it. Oh, you didn't get it? Okay, so the answer there would have been Vatican City. And uh, that's the end of the round. The end of the game. Lexington High School, the winner in this round with 575 points. Brookline High School, great round, 465 points. Congratulations to both teams. Now, Lexington will move on and play in the semifinals. Be sure you're here, and we'll see all of you and all of you right back here next week on High School Quiz Show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. of WGBH.